Hey guys! Um, <laughs> hey guys! Uh, I hope you're doing well at this time. Um, so it's summertime in Japan, and that means we travel. And this time we are traveling to a very historically important place in Japan. So Noemi, where are we traveling this time? To Hiroshima. To Hiroshima. <laughs> so join us, and we are gonna catch the Shinkansen now. Bye. The Shinkansen of Japan are one of the fastest bullet trains in the world. With speeds of up to 300 km per hour, it makes this over 800 km journey to Hiroshima in 4 hours. If you're a traveler in Japan, I would suggest you look into the Japan Railway Passes which allows you to ride the Shinkansen for a stipulated amount of days. Okay, so we are inside the Shinkansen now. time for lunch. Now this is a bento box. A bento is a lunch box which we bought at the station before our trip. And Japanese food and customer satisfaction never disappoints. Even though it comes in a box, it tastes bloody delicious. And look how pretty it looks. The city that was in rubbles in 1945 is now a vibrant city with amazing food, culture and very friendly local people. And the first place you need to visit in Hiroshima is the atomic bomb dome. The dome that was almost directly underneath the nuclear explosion but somehow survived it and is still standing there today. A reminder of the tragedy and the impacts of war. The dome is inside the Peace Memorial Park, dedicated to the legacy of Hiroshima as the first city to suffer a nuclear attack. The park has a museum with pictures of the city immediately after the explosion and the rubble that was left. And the peace flame, the flame which will be lit up until the day the world is free of nuclear weapons. We visited Hiroshima two days after the 75th anniversary of the tragic incident and so people were paying their respects and so did we. Yeah, we are we are presently in downtown uh, Hiroshima, trying to look for a place to have the most famous local staple, okonomiyaki. Now, if you're in Hiroshima and you're looking for a place to eat okonomiyaki, you'll find dozens of stores in every street. But if you're a traveler, I would suggest you come to this building, Okonomimura. Now this building has four floors with okonomiyaki stores stacked next to each other. All you need to do is select one, sit down and grab a bite and then head to the next door without having to walk a long distance. Okonomiyaki is a Japanese style savory pancake with two thin pancakes filled with a variety of ingredients. It's derived from the word okonomi which means what you like or as you like and yaki which means grill. You can fill your okonomiyaki with various vegetables, meat, seafood, egg and even noodles.
Say good morning to people. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Um, uh, this is day two of our journey in Hiroshima. And right now we are on our way for some breakfast. And then after that, we're gonna go see the Hiroshima castle. castle. <laughs> Hiroshima castle, yeah. So now we are in the courtyard of the Hiroshima castle. Like most buildings in Hiroshima, this was um, demolished or, you know, bombed down too during the nuclear blast in 1945. But then uh, it has been rebuilt since then and yeah, let's check it out. Castle grounds have a lot of ruins from the past and trees that apparently survived the nuclear explosion. And of course, there is the majestic Hiroshima Castle. It looks so antique that I was actually hoping that a Japanese emperor would come out of it. Hey guys, after the trip to the castle today, uh, we went to explore a small island near Hiroshima city which is called uh, Ujinajima. So there are beaches with literally no people around and it's like a small island, uh, well you can go from coast to coast in one, it's like one kilometer and we took our bicycles and went around the island and uh, it had amazing beaches. Uh, sadly, I could, I did not take my camera at that time, but I did take some pictures. Yeah, we took a swim and it was, it was amazing. So after that, uh, we are now in a small izakaya and uh, we have some, we're having some seafood and some sake, some Japanese sake. And now Hiroshima is the, one of the three largest producers of sake in Japan and uh, yes we have to try some mm. it's 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 got a fruity flavor and it's not strong it, uh, well I guess it is strong but <laughs> but uh, yeah I, I like the taste I can drink this mm. very good going to the red light district no <laughs> So we just uh, we just came out of the izakaya, and uh, yeah, we are a little drunk. How about you, Noemi? Alcohol is in my head. <laughs> Alcohol is in her head. Look. Wait, wait. And uh, now, <laughs> now we are going to get some ramen. Yeah. Do you huh? feel good about ramen? I think I'm already full. But we'll go get some ramen. Japanese people love to go eat ramen after they had a few drinks. So if you're in Japan, live like the Japanese. And with that, we come to the end of our short stay in Hiroshima city. I hope you guys liked the video. Please put a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe to the channel. And stay tuned for the next video where we will be island hopping. Hiroshima Prefecture.